look at that shoulder highlight. Wow, I'm glowing, glowing everywhere. Glowy Q makeup, hello. Chloe Q Makeup Who? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing the Daisy Marquez X BH Cosmetics palette and I am so excited to show you guys what this palette contains and what it can do. Well, you can already see what it can do because it's on my eye, but you know what I mean. And so if you want to see how to get this look and my thoughts on this palette, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Thank you guys so much. So let me just go ahead and give you some facts about the palette really quick so you guys know all the stuff on how to get it, what it retails for, da 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 da, -da. Okay, so the BH Daisy Marquez palette came with this little flyer, super cute. Um, it launched on February 28th, it says that right here. And it retailed for $19. I think that was a special discounted price though. So the full price for the palette is $23. This palette has 20 shadows, if I added correctly. Um, 10 of them are shimmers and 10 are matte. And I really, really like how they're separated. The shimmers are at the top and the mattes are at the bottom. I do really like the construction of the palette. I think it's very cute. I think that the idea of this little vanity, I don't want to blind you guys, so I'm going to put it backwards. The idea of this little vanity is really cute, and it's kind of like a really travel-friendly palette, I feel like. Um, so if you guys are always like flying or traveling somewhere, I honestly do really suggest this palette. I think that the colors are neutral enough there are enough neutrals in this palette for you to be able to travel with it and then there's some pops of colors if you want to you know turn it out a bit so let's get into the demo portion and i'm just going to start by priming with the p louise base so i'm taking a jh30 brush and just going ahead and patting that on my oh wrong side Going ahead and patting that on my eye. Just making sure it is seamlessly blended. So now that the eye is primed, we are going to go in with the first shade. I'm going to take this shade right here, Passion Fruit. And it's like a really nice maroon berry shade. I really, really like that color. And I'm going to take it on a Makeup Shack blending brush. I don't know what this brush is called. I've had it for way too long. And now the name is rubbed off. So... I'm sorry. And always remember with the P. Louise base, you have to pat first and then you can go ahead and blend the shadow out. And for me personally, I don't use a transition color. I haven't done that in years. I used to when I first started like watching makeup tutorials and stuff. I would go in with the transition color, you know, like a light brownish type color. But now that I have learned to work with color and stuff like that, I just don't really feel the need. But if you feel more comfortable going in with the transition color, do that. So do what you're comfortable with. So I'm just going to keep on patting that and it's kind of going to blend itself to be honest. Now I want to say this shadow is actually really nice, but I will say it causes a lot of kickback. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm going to, not that it matters because it doesn't realistically I'm not going to be like digging in you know but here you see all the dust around as long as the quality of the shadow is there and it has good pigmentation I don't care about any of that but I know some people do so I just wanted to make that note I already dug my nail into one of the shadows I always do this like People always say, oh, do you poke people in the eyes? Do you, like, because I sometimes do clients. Um, and I'm like, no, I don't. Or how do you wipe? Mind your business, first of all. Um, but one thing I always do with my nails is dig them into shadows or products. Like, I'll show you this Kylie product right here. I have dug into it. I just got this a couple weeks ago right there at the bottom like I I've dug into this so many times and I I'm gonna take the shade karma which is this really nice red shade it kind of has a little tinge of orange in it um it's really pretty it's not straight red but it's really really nice 
from the looks of it. And on this eye, I really liked how it performed. If y'all want to see all my tips and tricks on blending and how I get colorful shadows to blend, I will leave the link up here in the little eye thing and that's my blending 101 video part two will be coming soon so keep an eye out for that and now i'm going to take the shade flower the yellow right here i think that's really cute because that's what she calls her subscribers and i i've always loved that name i think that's adorable i think daisy is such a sweet person she seems very genuine to me even though like i haven't met her or anything i really do feel like she is such a sweetheart I'm picking up Passion Fruit again and going in with the same JH34 brush and putting more color back into where we put it before and kind of blending it upwards because we lost some of the pigment when we were placing all those shadows on. Um, I'm going to go back into Flower and keep blending and honestly it's just going to mesh all the shades together because I'm using the same brush. All these shades work really well together so there's no problem with muddiness or anything like that. Now that that is blended, we are going to dip into flower again, but with a different brush. I'm going to take it on a Sigma E25. I know, Sigma right? I've never used that on my channel. Um, I used to buy Sigma brushes all the time. Like, they were hotcakes. Like, I loved them. Um, but they were, honestly were just too expensive for me. I can't afford to get like $14 brushes all the time and that's eye brushes. The face brushes are even more expensive. I will say though people are knocking Morphe's brushes because they're goat hair and they're very hard to manage because you have to condition them. These are not goat hair. They look like they are because they are white haired bristles but they are not. They are synthetic and so basically they are this they're these hairs which is my sigma as well this is an e40 but they're just dyed they are the exact same bristles i just went on a little rant i'm so sorry <laughs> i hope daisy is watching this but at the same time i hope she's not looking at me like this girl is crazy she's going on like a five minute rant about freaking brushes she needs to calm down if you're watching this i love you daisy <laughs> You're amazing, and I'm so proud of you for this palette. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to dip into the matte black shade, which is called Matter. I'm placing Passion Fruit right over where we place the black now, because we just wanted to add a little bit of depth. Did y'all see Jacqueline's new Blending 101 video? I thought it was so nice, her new camera angles and everything. I was like, wow. You, like, you really went in for this blending video, but that is what she's known for, is her blend, and she always has known how to blend. Like, everyone in the beauty community, even if you don't like her, you can admit she's got a damn good blend. And we are going to use the P. Louise Basic Base in Hint of Mint, and we're going to pack the shade Daisy right over that and I know why she named it that and why she has all this color all over here is because she loves like Tiffany blue. I know that girl loves her some Tiffany blue. All right so we're just going to go ahead and cut the crease. I will be back after I finish. Okay so now that I have cut the line of teal or whatever you want to call it and went ahead and set it with Daisy. I'm going to take Yes A Yellow Base from P. Louise and go ahead and just cut right under that line. Now I'm going to take OTT Orange, which is just a really nice neon orange shade. So I'm going to take Rude Boy Red in the P. Louise spaces and just do the same thing that we've been doing. And this gives you a chance to clean up that teal line just in case it was a little messy. Now I'm going to take the shade Karma and I'm just going to pack that right over the orange shade. So now I'm going to take the Passion Fruit shade, which is the first shade that we dipped into right here. And we're going to place that right where we put Rude Boy Red. And then immediately after Bittersweet, we're going to dip right into the black shade. Now I'm just going to do the same exact process that I did right here with the gradient, but do it backwards on my wing. Okay, so now I'm just going to pop some lashes on and do part of my face. And then I will be right back to give my final thoughts 
on this palette. Okay guys, so I am back. I put on lashes, did my lower lash line because I always seem to forget that when I'm filming and I went ahead and did my concealer, foundation, and powder. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and bronze, highlight, and do my blush and lippy and then I will be done and we will give our final thoughts. So I'm going to bronze with my favorite, you know, the Panama Sun from Becca Cosmetics. This is my favorite bronzer and I'm going to be using my JHO2 brush, my favorite bronzing brush. <laughs> you ever see yourself with like contour or bronze down at your jawline and you look so snatched and then you take it off and you're like wow I really should go to the gym or something or stop eating chips and then you grab chips two seconds later because that's me. I'm going to spray my face with some Scandinavia finishing setting spray whatever you want to call it and prep for highlight. I'm going to be using one of Daisy's favorite highlighters which is the Artist Couture Coco Bling Diamond Glow Powder and this is also one of my favorite powders coincidentally I love it so much it is blinding okay so now that our highlight is on and blinding um I am going to use Kylie Cosmetics Crush Blush my favorite blush at the moment and I'm going to take that on a MAC random brush <laughs> it's my favorite blush brush I don't know if they even sell it anymore but it's my favorite I'm honestly just gonna put on the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. For the longest time, I always thought the first release of the Fenty Gloss Balm was just called Universal. No. It was... It's Fenty Glow. Um, the other ones, I know the names, but this one I just thought it was standard, like, Universal. So now that everything is done, I'm going to give my final thoughts and my final thoughts are that this is a really nice palette. I think it is really beautiful. Like honestly, let me show you the look first before I like, get into detail. <laughs> Okay, so now that you have seen the look up close, I really like this palette. Like, I, I honestly really do. And I think the reason why is because, one, it is very affordable for having 20 shadows. I feel like it is such a good deal. Like, $23 for 20 shadows. That's a little bit over a dollar a shadow, I believe. And I don't think that's bad. Like, a dollar for a shadow. The pans are a little small, I will say. But all BH Cosmetics palettes with shadows are small, I feel like. So that's just them sticking to the brand. I understand that. I love the concept of how this has a vanity. Like, you can travel with it. I think that's so freaking cool. Like, I've never seen anything like that in a palette ever. Um, and I think BH is and Daisy are bomb for thinking of doing this like I think it was genius and I love the packaging I think it's adorable it reminds me of a Tiffany box and I think all of it is just a big yes and I honestly haven't owned a BH palette in a really long time uh, they were the first palettes I ever owned actually was the like 60 color palettes and I used to love those but that quality was not that great. This is top notch for a cheaper brand, even comparable to higher end brands, to be honest. Um, it was great. It performed great. It blended like butter. The only problem I really had with it was that some of the shadows weren't as pigmented as I wish. But maybe that was the goal. Maybe they were meant to be more buildable. And I completely understand that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Daisy, if you are watching this, you did an amazing job on this collab. And I'm so proud of you. You deserve this of all people. I'm beyond, beyond words 
how proud I am. And just remember guys, all of these are just my opinion. If you don't agree, that is okay. We don't have to agree on everything. Um, but just remember, before you leave, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and also while you're right by the subscribe button, go ahead and hit that bell that's right next to it, because do you want to get notified every time I upload? I think you do, because we have a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun here. I don't know about you guys, but I do. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and do all those things and let me know when you're done. Comment down below if you did all those things. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. I love you guys. Bye.